Yo, so how's it going my dudes and welcome back. So today's video is gonna be a little special It's gonna be unlike any video that I've seen before mm, That's for sure because your boy is gonna go on a rant for <laughs> here Oh, but I'm so annoyed like <laughs> there's a few things that I want to talk about I know before you start and time me and say anything that hey Tori Why the hell are you talking about it when part 2 is not out yet? I understand I understand there's gonna be a part 2 But I'm not gonna be talking about the quest line or anything There's a few things that really bothers me that they are not gonna change even if part 2 comes out however before we start i have few questions for you guys that i would love to know what you guys think all right the first two questions for the new players the first question is what do you think of this event if you started if you bought the game this week what do you think of this event and if you have the game for three months ago and you went through the birthday llama and got some heroes what's your thought about seeing the exact same heroes right here in the same llama all right that's the two questions for you my dudes the new players the old players what do you think of them bringing back the gravedigger all right we understand the gravedigger is really rare and we understand it's gonna come back at some point but the blood Bloodfinder, like this hero, they also print, did print him back even though he was in quest hero. What do you think of that? That's the first question. The second question is, what do you think of them printing the same heroes three times in this in llamas? All right, we got them. First of all, the last Halloween, we got the same heroes in the same llama. Birthday llama, we got the same heroes. And now we got the exact same heroes. They all reskin, so it's not difficult for them to take any skin from Battle Royale and make him a reskin, like let's say this lady can be Harvester Sarah and she can use a scythe amazing this lady can be fragment flurry Jess all right amazing but they don't do that it's just all laziness what do you think of that and imagine all right just imagine in the future in the Christmas uh, event there's going to be fra fragment flurry Jess and all these in Easter there's gonna be bunny penny and the egg launcher it's gonna be all the exact same thing so let me know what you think that's the question I would love to read them keep in mind when part 2 comes out I'm gonna try to make another video of these and pick some of your comments and read them and try to see what's going on and what changed and what got better all right this is my questions for you my dudes with that out of the way let's talk about the things that bothers me all right first of all of course the thing that bothers me the weapons and the heroes in the llamas let me explain why weapons bothers me all right they are fantastic weapons i love them but some people already got the grave digger and already got some crazy good weapons from the krama session so having extra weapon like this is not something special because some people don't care about these weapons they only care about grave digger and they got here their hand on it they don't need these weapons that's just my opinion all right that's what i think but that's not the only thing the same heroes are right, we got the same heroes i'm opening llamas right now try to get the new weapons but i'm getting the same garbage heroes all the time really stressful i don't like it at all all right that's the first thing that bothers me the second thing that i really want to talk about that really bothers me when they said this line prepare yourself heroes you're going to need all the help you can get as something dark lurks on the horizon hmm interesting and what do we get power 76 missions oh boy oh boy now that that's the thing that's bothering me like so much all right i love this map i love the halloween map it's a new event i want to spend most of the, my time in this new map because it's gonna be gone soon right i'm really enjoying it i want to spend my time there they are only power 76 missions just like the last time i can't do anything like it's so boring to go in there everything dies in one shot it's so lame they give no rewards any other normal mission that you can play in the normal map is gonna give you so much re so many better things you know mini bosses everything here's no mini bosses there's nothing they just took a, a copy of the last year thing and they put it out there the last year was the exact same setup four missions the exact same location the exact same thing on the map exact same thing nothing changed that 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 burns me man like i want to play the new map i want to enjoy myself i want to have fun playing the game but when it's that easy for me it's boring everything dies in one shot man i can't do anything it's so lame my defenders can win the mission by themselves and if i go in a party <laughs> hey boy but the mission will end before it starts it's that boring like there's no challenge at all i got my hopes up i was so hyped for this event because of what they said for the krama session a new map power 100 is no more there's gonna be power 200 or something i was so hyped there's not even the missions are so lame like, they are only 76 man anything can finish 76 mission the reason that annoys me, annoys me so much just because when i did the halloween last year at least i was power 30 all right i enjoyed the game because every mission was hard to finish it it was so challenging it was so fun you know 
to do those kind of missions but now I go in a mission solo and I finish it so easily without even trying and so lame like I'd rather spend my time doing something else as you can see I didn't even finish that quest so far I'm only I'm only at the third quest because it's so boring to go in these kind of missions and you just win it like you don't do anything it's just like just time wasting you see this is my point that's what's bothering me so much and that's the thing that's not gonna change even in part two it's gonna be the exact same missions you know part two is gonna just be quest keep in mind I'm not talking trash about the quest line I'm talking trash about the map it's so easy I need something challenging give me something power 150 power 120 something in you man power 100 at least I will be happy with but like this it's so goddamn boring that's what's bothering me that's what I want to talk about all right so keep that in mind that's this is just my opinion I have to take it off my chest man I wanted to talk about it. it bothers me so much that every single one of these missions are just so goddamn lame and so so goddamn easy to do all right, I would love to be event when it's a it's called an event. All right, it's an event that I need to partic partic participate in. All right, I need to be in it. I need to do it. But when it's that easy, there's any MMOs that I played before, any other thing. When event comes out, they make it specially work for every single player. For high players and low players, it make it work for all. But like this, it's only like, hey, end game players, go screw yourselves. You don't uh, you don't have to play the game. I don't know man, I'm just I'm just sad, I'm just sad, I, I wanted to play the new mode, I was so hyped about it, you all know that, but this is what we get, disappointing man, disappointing, but hopefully you guys understand what's going on here, I'm sorry for this kind of video, but I have to take it on my chest, I need to talk about it, it really bothers me, but yeah, this is my opinion, I would love to hear yours, let me know what you think, and hopefully I will see you tomorrow in another video, take care, have a good day.